Hi guys and gals, it's John and Emily and Jazz at yes. AFK Books and Records. Uh, we're, hi Jazz, how you doing back there? Doing good? Yeah, all right. She's. I think she thinks so she's happy. in a timeout, but she actually can come out and chat with us. Maybe she will later. Will you come chat with the people later? Excellent. All right, uh, so we got some really cool stuff to show you here this week, but first we wanted to talk about an amazing upcoming yes. pre-order set that's going to be arriving uh every year there's a go ahead i'll let you hold these guys but uh 10 bands one cause which is a group of 10 bands that get together every year to release super rare limited pink vinyl yep. uh to benefit gilda's club of new york which is a fantastic uh, nonprofit organization which helps families uh dealing with relatives who have cancer families yep. and friends which is a great cause so if you pre-order any of these amazing records not only you're going to get amazing records but you get to help out a fantastic cause yep. uh, which is really near and dear to my heart i have a, a friend that's suffering from uh, late stage uh, cancer at this point and uh, just went up to visit her so everybody pitch in yes. please, yes, please. Uh, so let's talk about what we've got we've got black moth super rainbow panic blooms and hall and oats first lp which features sarah smile uh, we have uh, Tyler Childers, Purgatory, and LP of Run the Jewels with C4C, which is also a cure for cancer. We have All American Rejects' first album, which is also self-titled, and the Rocky Horror soundtrack. We have Modest Mouse, a long drive with nothing to think about. Again, all this is on cool pink vinyl and Soccer Mommy Clean. Uh, I've been selling a ton of these, super excited yeah. to have that. Good. Silver Sun Pickup Swoon, and then Local Natives Gorilla Nation. Awesome. So these are all going to be rolling out in September and I think early October too. Yep. Uh, but just message us whichever ones you want and we'll do our best to make sure they're here for yes. you. So let's talk about the amazing vinyl that's coming out this week. Uh, if you've been watching our wall this week, we've been getting a lot of really cool rare uh, used vinyl yeah. and a lot of cool restocks. So be sure to check that out as mm -hmm. well. Just go back to our wall. Uh, but we want to talk about all the releases for Friday, uh, starting off with one that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, Jillian Welch, Soul Journey, a uh, long-awaited vinyl release of her 2003 album, featuring one of my favorite songs of all time, uh, Little Miss Ohio, pressed on 150 gram vinyl featuring cool gatefold package with lyrics. Sweet. Nice. Next we have Pepper Stitches, the sweet, ye Oops. <laughs> sweet yellow reissue of the Hawaiian Ska Rock Band's 2010 EP, and it's pretty. All right, uh, some sun reissues. Uh, white One and White Two. This is a drone metal band, and they're back with uh, limited reissues of their 2003 and 2004 studio albums. Uh, Q Magazine said White One is the 18th loudest album of all time, squished between ACDC, Back in Black, and Hendrix's Are You Experienced? Uh, by the way, the number one loudest album of all time, according to Q, is The Stooges' Funhouse. Pretty cool. Nice. I agree. We agree. <laughs> Next up is Twisted Sister Live Marquee 1983, and this is for sick mother effing friends of Twisted Sister. Yeah. Take that, Tipper Gore. Yeah, Tipper. <laughs> uh, this is, features 13 blistering performances from London on glamorous red wax. All right. We've got uh, Nico Case, a couple cool reissues here, Furnace Room Lullaby, and The Tigers Have Spoken. Uh, she is a Virginian native and uh, from the amazing Canadian band New Pornographers. Uh, Lullaby is definitely on Red Marble. We're not sure about Tigers, which is actually a live album compilation um, of really cool songs. We think it may be on color, but we're not positive. Orange. But this Orange is definitely on color. Aren't you black? I don't know. I'm just she, she's just making it up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that makes perfect sense. Next up, we have The Ant Pacer. Uh, this is a Kim Deal joint and a Breeder spinoff originally released in 95. And it's also one of Elijah Wood's uh, favorite albums of all time, which is Interesting. Fun. Interesting. Uh, Mr. Warren Zevon. Uh, the Wind, this was his last album, 15th anniversary of this album. Uh, it's sadly been 15 years since we lost Warren to lung cancer. He refused treatment so he could continue to sing on this album, and he was joined on this last work by Springsteen, Don Henley, Joe Walsh, Jackson Brown, Tom Petty, Dwight Yoakam, Emmy Lou Harris, and so many more. So check this out. We've been waiting for yep. this reissue for a long time. Yep, I love it. Next up is Hugh Mundell, Ja Fire. I can't. Jaman, Jaman. <laughs> uh, originally recorded in 1980 at Prince Jammy's studio, just a few years before he was tragically gunned down in Kingston at the age of 21 while sitting in a car with Junior Reed. Yikes. That's sad. Sad, losing all these great, great musicians. So young. Uh, Saxon, some more Saxon reissues here. We've got Destiny on gold, brown, half and half vinyl. We've got Rock the Nations on red, white, and blue tricolor vinyl. Innocence is no excuse on green and yellow swirl vinyl. 
Sweet. Nice. So many people have been waiting for this. This is the Call Me By Your Name original soundtrack featuring stuff by Sweet John Stevens. Um, it's peachy keen, peach colored, and peach scented. Um, 2LP, super limited to only 14,999 copies. Super limited. So. It's also got songs, uh, Giorgio Moroder's on there, yep. Psychedelic Furs, yep. um, some amazing artists on that record. Super cool. All right, let's talk about this big one right here. Oh no, where's the Frisbee? Run and get the Frisbee. I'll be right I'll back. I'll talk about this. <laughs> so we have an amazing 50-year uh, Trojan Records box set. Super thick. Uh, this celebrates 50 years of Trojan Records loaded with hits, rarities, and unreleased material. This massive box has four LPs, two sevens, a poster, slip mat, patch, seven inch adapter, and book, plus most importantly, this frisbee! This amazing frisbee <laughs> right here, uh, in stock now at a great price at AFK Books and Records. I'm very out of shape. All right, good job. <laughs> okay, and you go. Woo! Tom Waits, Blue Valentine, he gets bluesy, featuring his hit song, Christmas Card from a Hooker in Minneapolis. Hey, and sounds like a good blues song. Pretty blue vinyl. Sweet. Uh, here we go, Judy Sill, another run-out groove treatment, uh, this folk singer-songwriter. Uh, it, it has a new collection of unreleased live demos and recordings. It's limited to 1,296 copies, and that's mm -hmm. it. It's on beautiful grapele color, marble, super sweet. Check that out. Grapele. And we only have a couple grapels, so <laughs> I made that up. You said orange and black tiger color. Yeah. <laughs> so tiger color is the color. Sorry. Okay, good. Next up, we have Sisters of Mercy Floodland. Um, after a brief hiatus, Sisters of Mercy reemerged with the bass guitarist Patricia Morrison, hooked up with Meatloaf producer Jim Steinman, and made Floodland. Awesome. Here's another one Sisters of Mercy, first, last, and always, reissue of the 1985 genre defining Gothic alternative rock album, uh, featuring the classic Eldrick Hussey Adams Marx lineup, featuring iconic songs like Marion and Black Planet. Hmm. Sweet. Next we have John Party, California Sunrise, released in 2016. This country album is dedicated to the beauty of California and the beauty of being in a relationship. Swoon! It's on limited orange vinyl. Sweet. The Fall, 45, 84, 89, Ooh. A Sides, first ever US pressing on white vinyl, features classic singles from 1984 to 1989, like Mr. Pharmacist, Living Too Late, and Victoria. Next up we have Fuel, Sunburn. This was their debut album and it turns 20 this year. So how awesome is that? What better way to celebrate than with a reissue on 180 gram orange vinyl? Moldy Peaches, yes. Yeah. So many peach themed albums here today. <laughs> uh, Adam Green and Kimya Dawson helped spawn the anti-folk genre with their punk infused indie sound. Uh, features anything anyone else but you from the Grammy winning Juno soundtrack on red vinyl includes a bonus seven inch. Sweet. Next up, we have Shooter by Shooter Jennings. This is a new album from the country icon, um, putting the honk back in honky tonk, whatever that means. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jennings hooked up with his debut album producer, Dave Cobb, to revisit his classic country roots. WB, more cool WB compilations right here in the house. I Want to Be Sedated from the Underground. Punk, new wave, and alternative rock era compilation featuring artists like Elvis Costello, The Violent Femmes, Flaming Lips, Talking Heads, New Order, and of course the Ramones and who we're listening to right now in the background, B the B-52s Rome. <laughs> awesome. Next we have Bass Drum of Death, Just Business. This is the fourth studio album from the garage punk band from Mississippi. Elvis, Elvis Presley right here in the house, where no one stands alone. 14 of Elvis's most passionate performances reimagined with new instrumentation and vocal arrangements includes a duet, duet, duet <laughs> with Lisa Marie, my daughter. There you go. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. <laughs> uh, next we have Foxing Near My God. This is the indie band's third outing on double red vinyl, and it was produced by Dead Cab expat Chris Walla. Awesome. Walla, walla. All right, Primal Fear. We're going to end with Primal Fear. Yeah. Apocalypse, German power metal on red wax with its like broad sweat and fear. Yeah. Hail to the fear and fear, fear, and more fear. <laughs> we just made the last one up, but the first two are real. There's two songs about fear here. Pretty crazy, huh? And fear in the title. So much fear. Scary. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what we've got for you. Other than another yep. huge restock, we'll try to fit that into yep. a video for you. Uh, we hope to see you this weekend. Um, Jazz is down here tearing something apart. I hope it's not a eating, record. Eating food.
quit eating food? Okay. That's good. <laughs> anyway, uh, be safe. Have a great weekend. See you guys. Bye. Bye.